Legacy, that is such a, a strong word. It's hard to sort of process what has happened, especially in the last year following the Pyeongchang Games. Uh, it was almost a fairy tale for us, um, both on and off the ice. We were able to pursue and then accomplish our dreams. And, and as an athlete on the world's biggest stage, under pressure in those moments, that's the most gratifying thing. Um, and in a way, I think we'll be chasing that for quite some time. But as it relates to what that means in the scope of Canadian history, I'm not sure. I mean, there's such a rich lineage of incredible people who have represented our country uh, so well. And I'm conscious of that. Every time I don that maple leaf and represent Canada, I'm very aware of what's come and who's come before me. We have stepped back from amateur skating and it's been quite a whirlwind. It's been hectic and busy and, and I have to say I've probably consciously made those decisions to fill my schedule because I was used to one singular goal and everything was wrapped around this all-consuming purpose of winning the Olympics. Every decision was made through that filter and seen through the lens of, will this help me be my best? And since that, trying to sort of reconcile how that applies to what's to come and the new projects that I'm tackling and the different aspects off of the ice uh, has been both a challenge and also something I'm trying to embrace because it's exciting and exhilarating to step outside of my comfort zone. Uh, there hasn't been too much time for pause or reflection. That will come, but I think it will take more time. I was used to such a regimented structure in my training routine. Every moment of my day was accounted for and everything was functional and for one purpose. Now I sort of feel like I'm floundering and bouncing between different projects, but I'm also able to see what sparks joy, not to sound that's very Marie Kondo, isn't it? What, what uh, sparks this passion in me like skating did? And it's neat to say yes to new projects, whether it's charitable involvement or sponsorship or school. It's nice to sort of test my limits in different ways. I've always said that after the 2010 Olympics, there was a flick of a switch and all of a sudden, Scott and I had to put on our business hats. And working with global brands and sponsors, speaking events, um, even navigating that business partnership between the two of us. I mean, there's, there was a steep learning curve, but something that has been incredibly rewarding. And I find one of my greatest thrills right now is negotiating a contract. So uh, it's not necessarily performing in front of thousands.